Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 27th HTML tutorial. In the last couple tutorials, we actually started HTML Project 1, where we began creating a profile page about ourselves, including information like our picture, uh, some links, as well as a little uh, information about us. Um, so we finished that in the last tutorial, so I figured uh, in this tutorial we're going to actually create a new project, um, which is basically creating a multi-page website uh, with a couple different pages, like an about page and contact page and stuff like that. Um, and it's going to be uh, basically to show you how to link pages together um, and just design a very basic website. Um, and another thing I want to add is in the last uh, project here, HTML Project 1, we use a little bit of CSS code to style our profile pages. Um, so in this project, I figured we're just going to go with pure HTML. Um, so it's going to make things a little bit more tedious, maybe, um, and maybe a little bit more difficult to style. And because we're not using style sheets, but uh, we can figure out how to do that. Um, and it's very basic, so we're not really going to need too much CSS anyway. So this is um, the website that we're going to be creating here. Uh, it's just a very basic white background, black text website here um, with a couple pages. So when we click on the links here, uh, it'll take it to our different pages. We have an about page with some information um, and links to our Twitter and YouTube account here. And we have a news page. Um, and I just included like one entry here. Um, but again, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. And we also have a contact page with our phone number and our snail mail address. And I also included the AA uh, form here so people can send emails if they want to. So this is, this is basically the website that we're going to be creating. Uh, let's just take a look at the code over here. Okay, so this is the code that we have for the web page. Um, there's four pages. Uh, and one thing that you might notice throughout these pages is that the code up here is all very similar um, between all the pages here. And this is because up here is basically uh, where we have our menu. This is the menu right here for our web page, um, and that corresponds to this right here. Um, so this is going to be on every single page, so we're going to have to include this code on every single page. So basically it's just a matter of copying and pasting and editing a couple things. So that's going to knock out some work for us as well. So this right here is pretty much going to be standard throughout the whole website. It's what's down here that's going to be uh, going to have the most editing associated with, associated with it, and this is going to be basically the content of your website down here. So this is where you're going to want to put pictures, tables, uh, forms, stuff like that. Up here is going to be uh, kind of like the behind the scenes stuff. We have our uh, title up here, our header, and then our menu. So well, let's actually get into the code. I'm actually going to blank these files out, and then we'll actually begin coding. So I'll pause the tutorial, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead to Notepad++ and actually deleted all of the code from the files here. Um, and I saved the index file, and you'll notice that everything is blank, there's no more code, uh, and this is basically what it looks like. I also deleted the code from these files. Um, so that actually, let's just go in here and just take a quick look at something first. Um, one thing I want to note is that all of these files here, the index about news and contact.html files, are saved within this folder that I created on my desktop called site. Um, and you don't have to create a folder, but I figured it would keep things a little bit less cluttered throughout my computer here uh, if I knew where all the files were that we're going to be using for this tutorial. So you can name your folder whatever you want. I just happen to call it site um, just because it's short and it's uh, basically to the point. I actually, before I created the site folder, I named it multi-page website with a space, but um, it's probably not best practice to include a space in your uh, code so or in your folder names. Um, so this is basically where we're going to have our, our uh, files stored here. So when you create your files, you're just going to throw them in the same directory uh, and it'll make it a little bit easier when we're linking the pages together. Um, if you don't have them in the same directory, that's fine. I'll show you how to go about doing that as well, but it's just a good idea to keep them all uh, all together, at least at this point. So all of our files are saved in here. They're all up here in uh, Notepad++. And uh, so let's get to work on coding our website. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a header page for our uh, index.html page. Um, so what we're going to want to do is come over here and in order to create our header, we're just going to first create our uh, HTML basic outline here. So head, body. Okay, so right now we have our basic HTML uh, template here. And if we refresh, we still have nothing. And uh, one more thing I should note here is that I named this page index.html. Um, it doesn't have to be index.html, but a lot of the time, or most of the time, you should name your main page index because uh, when you're going to a website, especially if you upload this to a server and someone tries to access your website, um, if they don't type in index.html, it should bring them to the index page automatically by default. Uh, in this instance, it's probably not going to do that. It's just going to show us our directory. Um, but if it's live on a website web server and uh, you type in like 
the you type in the site folder and leave off the index um, by default it usually takes you to the index web page so that's just something to keep in mind um, so let's just go back to our index page here and let's go back into our coding so right now uh, what we're going to want to do is create a title for our web page and we're going to call this technical cafe uh, you can call it whatever you want it's just for the sake of the tutorial I'm calling it technical cafe uh, and we'll say home this way that users know um, just by looking at the top of their uh, browser window that we're on the home page so if we come over here and we uh, refresh now we have technical cafe home um, so, so this is basically a good way of helping users find out where they are especially if they have multiple tabs open they can know uh, where they are on a website so let's go about doing this for the rest of our web pages here um, so we'll just copy and paste this for the sake of saving time and we'll come down here and refresh or paste rather um, we'll call this change this to about we'll come over here to news and we'll paste that and change it to news and we'll do the same thing for contact so if we come over here and save these all uh, if we go over to the about.html page uh, and we hit enter it'll take us to our blank about.html page so now that everything's working let's go about creating uh, the actual header text that's going to be on our web page um, up in the center here on our web pages. So uh, we'll go to the body here and we'll say uh, h1 and we'll close our h1 tag and we'll say technicalcafe.com. So we'll save, come over here and we'll refresh. Oop, we're on our about page here, so we'll switch to index. And there's our header right here. Um, so we're just going to center this in order to keep it looking nice. So we'll put, throw a center tag over here. And we'll also throw our center tag over here. So we'll save that. Uh, we'll come back to Firefox and we'll refresh. And then we'll just do the same thing for all of the web pages that we have over here. So we'll copy this. And we'll come down here. Uh, paste that. We'll paste that. And we'll paste that. So there we go. We just come about and save these. This should be working for all of our pages. Um, and the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create uh, menu that we can go between the pages with. And this is going to involve typing in links uh, and this is why I said that uh, it's useful to keep them all in the same folder here um, because if you had other folders or folders within folders it's going to get a little bit more complicated. Um, it's still doable and it's still fairly easy but uh, we're just trying to go for simplicity here. So let's actually come over here and we're going to create our menu here so we'll leave a comment and we'll say menu goes here. So this is where we're going to have our menu. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to begin by typing in some links and we're going to start this on the next tutorial because we're running short on time here. So if you follow on to the next tutorial we'll begin creating our menu for all the web pages and uh, working on some of that. So please feel free to tune into the next one. Thanks.